Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you the sample browser inside Rubble, which has been recently added. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside Rambo standalone version. And um, we are going to create a new project and we select a default template. And next, we're going to click on the plus sign to add a module. And why not? Let's choose the Wave Scanner, which again, has been recently added to Drumbo as part of that DSP extension one. So I definitely recommend you look into it. Let's add also another uh, module, the ADSR so that we can control the envelope of the sound we are going to produce. So let's move the keyboard like so. And of course, at the moment, we don't have uh, anything which uh, is generated because we don't have any waveform loaded inside Wave Scanner. Um, I'm going to also change the number of voices to sex, and then I'm going to hit load. Now, as you know, this is a view of uh, folders with different sample. We are inside the sample library. I recommend that you um, click here on sample. You go at the top level and create a folder and you give it uh, a, a name. In this case, SFM for me, send for more, and click enter. And then expand that and you can go to the new folder. Inside the new folder now, you can click on this icon here at the bottom which represents the World Wide Web, and uh, it opens up a nice browser, which you can use to browse samples and therefore download them. As you can see, we are inside freesound.org. I'm already logged uh, on, um, you can see the user here, SFM Leo, and uh, you need to register, of course, unless you already have an account, if you want to download um, samples. And um, but it's very simple, just uh, the user, the usual um, email address, password, and activation. As you can see here, you can, uh, um, of course, um, go to home, sounds, forum, people, etc. You can browse a little bit all the different sounds that you have, uh, that you have available on free sound. If you click up here, you can change the URL, you can delete it here, you can add it as a favorite, and then look at the favorite and close the browser. But now, for simplicity, let's click up here. And uh, I already had the open, but I'm going to search it again for a plug sound. And here it gives you a list. And of course, you can check on the waveform. You have a little icon here on the bottom left. Click on it to play it. And of course, when you finish, you can also go inside that particular sample. It shows you the number of time you downloaded it. And of course, if you downloaded it before, and then if you're happy, click on download. And as you can see, it gave you a little bit of a time in there where it was um, with a percentage that it was loading the sample. Now, let's click on the keyboard. Really nice. I should say, if you click up here, you can see what has been loaded up here. You can see the name as well. I recommend that you go to audit and normalize this. Okay. Also, if you click load here, you see the sample which has been loaded there. Okay. So that is as simple as that. What I like to do now is perhaps uh, um, take the sustain down to zero and then play a little bit with uh, the decay. And then um, I want to add uh, some other modules, but then it really depends what you prefer to do. But in this case, let's have a little bit of fun, like a mini LFO connected to the uh, offset. We just give it a bit of intensity, like so. Um, underwanted bipolar, and I'm going to be triangle. And it gives you this nice preset, really nice. And of course, if I increase the LFO intensity here, really nice. And uh, of course, you can go even uh, further. And uh, why don't we choose something like um, a reverb line?
really nice. Now, if you uh, swipe down here on the waveform, um, you can actually remove it, which is really nice. And then you can uh, start again. Click on load and um, ensure that you are on the folder that you where you would like the sample to be loaded into. Click on the icon here and there you go. Keep searching. So, And uh, of course, um, you can have a lot of fun because you can choose uh, between so many different samples. Um, When we try this one, a violin spiccato, and we click on download. Okay, so again, I suggest that you click on edit and normalize that. And that's your sample violin. Okay, so let's um, for now remove the LFO. Now, that that's what you hear because of where the offset is, of course. So in this case, I suggest you move the offset near the beginning of the waveform and then, as I done a moment ago, bring in another uh, mini LFO connected or you can choose also a different type of module depending on what, um, uh, what you prefer. Um, but for uh, this example, let's choose a so up as well. And let's try. And then you can change the frequency. Why not? Let's go down to 0 0.5. Let's have also this LFO being triggered by the um, MIDI to CV, like so. So we restart. And of course, you can adjust it um, as um, your preference. As you can see, a lot of different possibility, and of course, it doesn't have to be precisely violin. You can choose a different type of uh, waveform and then uh, have a lot of fun. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial, and as always, see you next time. Bye.